Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Let's Play. I know in the last episode, I know in the last few episodes, we have done nothing but bees. <laughs> it has been like a four or five episode series of just bees, but I want to I want to keep going. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying bees. Uh, so I just made a gene indexer. Um, because I want, I just want to finish this out. If we can just finish this out, I, we're we're good to go. So in this episode, we're just gonna finish all of the B quest line. Uh, so we need to do like ghost combs, uh, spectral combs, or uh, spatial, spatial, not spectral, uh, which comes from a spatial B. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be more breeding. It's gonna be more, uh, whatever. But I do also want to get into gene indexing. It, it, it's going to be a bit more stuff. So where does this guy come from? The comb of this bee can be centrifuged to get certus court seeds. Cool. So this guy comes from a crystalline and an ender. So I know I have an ender bee. Do I have a crystalline bee? So I do have a Draconic Bee. We'll get into that definitely later. Uh, experience Bee, no. Um, I don't think I have... Oh, no, Crystalline Bee right there. And there was my Ender. So let's put these guys into the breeding chamber. Uh, let's get some more bee cages. Uh drop that in there and apparently it looks like these guys are good to go with just flowers uh it's slow going so i am going to speed this up i need to get in the habit of keeping my pouch on me the more that i play uh because then it fills up faster all right so we have our so, all right, so we have our spatial bee, and now I need to just make some more, um, another hive and another expansion box. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Um, what else do I need? Probably some more upgrades, because I know that I'm going to need a um, simulator because I don't want these bees leaving. And also while I'm here, I'm gonna make a feeding pattern. Because this, I've been, I've been needing more feeders. So for right now, we'll just do that. And eventually I'll get into like the importing, exporting and stuff like that. But for now, I just need the bees themselves. So the advanced hive goes on the bottom, this goes here, and I have my spectral bee, which I need to, or spatial, I keep saying spectral, it's a spatial bee, uh, that's gonna go in here. So that will get me spatial comb, which will unlock some stuff here. Uh, flux comb comes from a flux bee, which comes from giving a flux pearl to a spatial bee. So I'm going to go ahead and breed up a second spatial bee. And then how do I make a flux pearl? I think that's what it said I needed. Ooh, let me take off capitals. Uh, pearl... All right. So, Fluix, not just Flux, Fluix. Uh, recipe for that comes from this B. So Fluix, F-L-U-I-X, Fluix Pearl. Okay, I might have all the stuff to make that. All right, I don't have the Fluix dust. How do you make Fluix Dust? Fluix Dust comes from Fluix Crystals and a Pulverizer. 
it seems like the best way. So, Fluix Crystals. Let me just grab four. I'm going to bring them down here into my Pulverizer. Two, three, four. And then I should be able to make my Pearl up here. Looks Pearl. Perfect. So then when my second Spatial Bee comes out, and I think they need to be adults to be able to actually do that. So I'm going to let this one fly around for a bit until it becomes an adult. While it's doing that, I will work on the other stuff. What do you need to feed on? Uh, spatial B usage. You feed on Certus Quartz blocks. And that seems like the only thing you can feed on. Okay, so I need to make a Certus Quartz block. So a Certus Quartz block. Uh, was it nine of these? All right, so we'll craft up that really quick. No, oh, it was just four. Okay. Oh, I have extras. All right, so cool. So now you are good to go. You are good to go but you need to like fly around a bit maybe because the last time when i tried to do this with the diamond bees it didn't work so where did you just fly off to please tell me you didn't just fly out like immediately all right it just it, it flew back in here that's <laughs> freaked me out for a minute but but it's in here which is fine okay so while it's growing up, because it will grow up inside the hive, we need a ghost bee. Comes from a soul sand nest. And I don't think I have one of those yet. So how do I make a soul sand nest? It comes from a piece of soul sand and a wooden sword. So I need to make a wooden sword with a piece of soul sand that gets me the soul sand nest. So you can go there. I need my honey treats. So you can go in there. And we're just gonna let that go. While we're letting that go, that'll get me my ghost bee. Uh, the next line of this one would be a zombie. So zombies come from this special bee can't breed amongst themselves. That's fine. So how do I get you? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Species of bee can't breed amongst itself. That's fine. Recipe. How do I get a zombie? I can also take my crystalline bee put you in here and then put that in there so this also I just got my spatial comb how many of those do I need is this not a spatial comb that is a spatial comb how many of these do I need Growing crystals is so tedious, the spatial bee will create Sardis Quartz crystals already fully grown. Oh, because I need that. Eh. <laughs> I hate my hotkeys. So I need that and I need the crystal. Okay, so I needed the crystalline first. Okay, see, these feed in a weird way. All right, so crystalline and then I need an iron comb. So I still have yet to figure out how to get the zombie because all it tells me is that it can't, species can't breed among themselves. I get that. But how do I get my first zombie? 
Uh, this guy is about halfway, so we'll we'll just keep speeding that process up. Uh, eventually, we will get our crystalline comb. Cool, which gets us uh, some quartz glass, a diamond upgrade for a chest. Gets us that. Gets us all of that. All right, so next is a glowing comb, which I already have a glowing bee, and I had it somewhere. Glowing B. So I need you to go in somewhere because you're probably just going to need glowstone. So you pollinate with glowstone, redstone lamps, or shroom lights. So yeah, I need a block of glowstone. Once again, I'm not good with my hotkeys. <laughs> All right. Uh, glowstone. Uh, I'm going to need another feeder. I got my glow bee. I got my ghost bee finally spawned. So I am now, I've, I've got this turned off for the time being so that it's not going to um, put any new stuff in the system because there are a few bees that I already have that I don't want, um, like, the, like this redstone bee. So redstone and lapis uh, I already have producing. Uh, I thought I had a lapis bee producing. But I don't want them to... I, I, their comb, it's fine if it gets imported into the system. I just don't want it to immediately be pulled out and turned into its resources because I need a redstone and a lapis comb. And then once this guy, these two... Well, all right, so there's my ghost... No idea what either of these are. Soul wafer is apparently food. And then uh, still waiting on my digi bee. So I'm still waiting on one of these to grow up so I can extract it and put the flux crystal pearl on it. Uh, still waiting for the glow bee to produce. Still waiting for the redstone to produce. But I just need to make an iron comb, which obviously comes from an iron bee. Uh, iron B, I might already have. I know I had a few other metal bees. If not, we will have to look up where the iron bee comes from. It probably comes from breeding something. Uh, productive bees i have an ashy mining spawn egg a farmer spawn egg and a collector spawn egg i do not have any iron okay so i need to figure out where the iron bee comes from so an iron bee quartz enriched iron bee interesting all right so an iron bee comes from a crystalline bee and an ashy mining bee so i have one of those in here if not, I know I have the spawn egg for it. Okay, so let me grab my ashy mining bee. Let me spawn one of you in. Uh, adult ashy mining bee. And it was that plus chrysalin, so I need to take one of these out. Y'all are still a child. I wish you could, like, specify which one you want to take out, but I'm going to have to do this. And then put my two spatials back. So now I've got my chrysalin and my 
Ashy Mining. That should get me an Iron Bee. We'll speed this up. I, I've, I've used up most of the time in my temporal pouch, but we'll be okay. So have you guys produced yet? Redstone. I just need a redstone comb. And I don't think... I, I'm hoping these guys haven't been producing. Because you're set to work only with a redstone signal and you shouldn't be getting a redstone signal right now. Same with you. So eventually we're going to get those combs. Uh, looks like we've got our iron bee. You can chill with these guys and I'm probably going to have to get you a block of iron. So you can produce uh, any anvil, an iron ore, block of raw iron or just a block of iron, iron bars. Okay. I have most of that stuff. So let me just get a block of iron. And then you'll start producing. I've got my ghost, which I already turned in. So iron is good there. The only other thing I need is to squash a bee in the bottler. So the bottler is right here. It just needs to have... I need a piston. Because I need that piston. Let me grab like a button or something. Or a lever. I have a lever. Which you may not work because this is in the way. All right, cool. So I just need any bee uh, that has um, like attributes. Let me find one that I don't care for. I'll take one of my nomads. So you need to go here and then crush you. And now we have squashed bee material. All right, we are so close to finishing this out. I just need my combs and I need my guys to grow up over here. Still childs, you have not produced yet. Do I still have redstone or lapis combs? All right, so we will wait for that. And be right back. All right, so I just threw my bee into the centrifuge, my, my squashed nomad bee. So I've got weak endurance, uh, durinal, don't know what that means. Uh, the type was a nomad, we know that. Uh, temper normal weather tolerance so high productivity so if I take this high productivity so I can just store all of this in here so I actually don't think I need power to this because I think this is just a place to store materials so if I take my high productivity and a honey treat And I combine those, I get a high productivity honey treat. And I can give that to a bee with like medium productivity. So like this redstone bee right here. So this redstone bee, I should be able to, let me come over here so you don't have anywhere to escape to. I should be able to feed you that honey treat 
and now you have a high productivity. Cool. So I don't think there's a way to like combine those to be like high plus high equals very high. But if I find one that has a very high productivity, I could then take that and extract it and put it into someone else. And like I have something over here somewhere that's meant to like... I don't remember which one I put it in. Oh, right here. So slowly extracts genes from visiting bees, totally not hurting them in the process. Multiple upgrades can be installed for a higher chance. So I think eventually, like, I might get the genetics of some of these bees. I don't know how that part works. Like, I don't know if every so often a glass bottle, instead of filling up with honey, is going to fill up with, like, the bee junk, is what it's called. I don't ask questions. All right, so that should have gotten me iron and glowing. Awesome. That gets me a tin bee, a copper bee, and some more upgrades. This gets me glowing berries and some more upgrade parts. So I still need a redstone comb and a lapis comb. So there's a redstone and a lapis. Perfect. So no rewards for that. Great. That gets me a purified lapis. So the only thing left is the digi bee and the zombie. Zombies and skeletal bees are unique in that they can't be bred. To attract them, place advanced beehives in complete darkness and they'll arrive in time. Okay, see, you read stuff and you learn stuff. All right, so I do need to go back behind the scenes over here and get these guys turned back on to extract these over here need to go back into extract mode i can probably get rid of you because i don't plan on doing much bee extraction anymore um let me just put all of my combs away because eventually those are going to just get thrown into this system once i turn these back on And then I can turn all of these back on. And then you should start extracting all of this stuff again. Perfect. And as long as you're only getting honey, I'm okay. I had a few instances where this was getting something that wasn't honey. And it was just messing up the whole system. So as long as you just get honey, I'm okay. This is starting to make crystals. Fantastic. Uh, you should be extracting that eventually. Right? Because you're set to blacklist comb of any kind. Are you not going to extract? You should be feeding back into the system. Why are you not feeding? Oh, because you, you got disconnected. That's right, because I had this importer right here. That was taking honey bottles. But it needs to blacklist regular bottles, just in case. Perfect. So now you should be extracting back into the system. You should be extracting back into the system. And now we should have like a lot of flowerite and all of that that got built up. Um, anything else? I need to go back behind here. So I need a few more importers, exporters. Uh, let's just get like five of each. We'll start off three of those. All right. So all of this is stuff that you've seen before. So we will figure out what's happening next and we will come right back. Last thing on our list is I need an advanced hive. So I'm gonna make one of these and then I just need to build a dark room. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. I'm gonna eventually put those copper the bees and all of that to work uh, but for right now I'm just gonna stick with the basics of what I need to get done whoops shouldn't have put that away um, let me get my 
charge porter back. Let me put these away. I'm gonna keep some bee cages. I do need probably a simulation upgrade so I can just go ahead and if and when I get my bees, I can just extract them. Let me just get a stack of this because all I'm gonna do really is come down here. Oh geez, Louise. Um I know I keep saying this all the time, but like next episode we need to figure out some farming so I can stop having Endermen everywhere. Like I need a way to just instant kill Endermen or find a way to make sure that they can't teleport. That's that's a bigger thing. Um Alright, so let me just build a dark area. I'm just gonna put it right here. What's what's stopping me? Do I, I mean, I'm assuming I don't have to be in here with it, but I might as well because I have nothing else to be doing right now. So I'm going to close up this area. We're going to get it nice and dark. And then we're going to set down our advanced B and we're just going to sit and watch. I know I jokingly said that this was going to be <laughs> a very long uh, drawn out process on these bees um but that's what it's gonna be so uh i've i have already filmed a lot of footage of everything that i just did so i'm going to compile this into another set of two episodes <laughs> it's it's it it's fun i'm enjoying it i like bees so in the next episode we are going over uh some gene splicing uh getting the final little bits of the b quest line completed and uh, just some some other like b related stuff you'll 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 see it so stay tuned for the next episode i know i said that we were going to deal with these endermen in the next episode but there's a lot of stuff to do with these bees then we will worry about killing endermen because i need these endermen to do one final thing with the bees and then we're good so thank you all so much for watching i will see you in the next episode later